my god, this was a fucking bear. Welcome back to a Gator Snapper playthrough of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where the process of setting this game up, not only was it a three-day process, but it got to the point where I was full-on like, there's, this is just it, this is the end. I even made a video and everything about all the problems I was having getting this game started. I was like, N you know what, this doesn't look like it's gonna work. I don't even know if I want it to work. Like, this isn't worth it, just in the end. Like, I don't feel like this is worth the time I wound up putting into it. Which, and like, in the end, I wound up putting the time into it, and here we are, back to fucking laggy-ass Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Truly, I do not understand why I was okay with, like, getting this going again, but I don't know. Like, I, the main thing was, like, I, I just didn't want to fucking, like, have another series in, in my bucket of, like, being unfinished. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll, let's see if I can get it running. Don't have any other ideas for what I can record, so I might as well get this out of the way. And I don't have a terrible time playing the game. But yeah, when uh, going through all those problems, like, let me just say up front, Ubisoft, or maybe just Uplay. Maybe I can, like, find a way to shift all the blame just on Uplay. Nothing has been such a piece of shit. Like, I, Games for Windows Live was pretty bad, but at least I found the solution for that, like, the problems I had with it pretty early on. It's still terrible. Games for Windows Live is still trash. Nothing... That did not compare to how bad it was getting fucking Uplay to work. Which, for the first... Let's see. What... The first thing that happened... Like, in the... Oh, God, I wonder if I should post some clips from the little video. You play just... Like, it didn't update, and then it refused... Assassin's Creed Odyssey just refused to start up. I was like, okay, restart computer, do a bunch of, like, little minor checkup stuff. It still didn't work. I was like, okay, what next? Uh, after that, I, I reinstalled Uplay. Weird fucking... Like, every time... I reinstalled it three different times, and each fucking time, there's, like, a million files that didn't fucking download. I was like, yeah, no, none of these are coming in. You're gonna have to skip this. I was like, okay, maybe one of these is okay. I hit ignore, like, over ten times. Over, like, fifteen times. Over a million times. And, uh, like, literally, like, half the files I was not able to download. So I was like, okay, this is where... That was the point where I was like, yeah, no, this is gonna have to stop. There's no way... There's no way I can keep this uh, playthrough going. Uh... Then, uh, the next day, I was like, let me try this again. Let me go at it again. Restarting my computer seemed to have helped. It seemed like I was able to kind of, uh, get, like, I was able to re-download you playing, and it started working. I was like, okay, cool, no problems, nothing got skipped out on uh, as I was, uh, oh, God, hold on. Fideus is my lover. Let's just go with this option. <laughs> I love it. Uh, but yeah, it was... It fi like, it finally downloaded again. I was like, okay, cool, I can try and record Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I turned it on, I tried playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and Uplay was like, um, this game isn't in your library, so you're not going to be allowed to play it. I was like, what are you fucking talking about? It wanted my authentication code. I was like, okay, looking for the activation key. Did not fucking exist. Assassin's Creed Odyssey does not have an activation key, apparently. I was like, this is fucking stupid. So I dealt with that for a good old while. And, like, like, literally, that was another point where I was like, okay, this just might have to be a stopping point. Uh, and then, of course, this is the problem, this is the solution to all these sorts of problems. I looked it up, I was like, what do I do in this situation? And someone was just like, oh yeah, just restart Steam and Uplay. And I was like, no, it couldn't be that simple. It's acting, like, it wouldn't, Uplay wouldn't even let me try to link my Steam account to the Uplay one. And I was like, okay, fine, we'll do this. Restarted it all. Started it back up again, hit play on Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and here we are now. I was so, like, so psyched for someone that was like, no, I don't even want to bother playing this anymore. But hey, now we're back to this laggy fucking mess. A game that one of my friends says it looks like a, like a bunch of potatoes, literally. So, yeah, that's, that's my situation now. Now we can get to talking to good old Fideus, my lover, apparently, according to my lies. He hello. Yes, it's been a long time, lover. Uh, you often drop the hammer around me. No, one gets past the no really? No one gets past the guard? I... Lying in this game is so easy. If I had known, like, I could just lie and that they'd believe me straight up without, like, any kind of random chance or, like, skills needed into it, I would have been lying all this time. I was like, if I lie, they're gonna catch me and sh shit's gonna go wrong. Oh, well, whatever. They seem to scare you, sir. Uh-huh. Uh... You're just paranoid. You're crazy. You're schizophrenic. You need medicine. You need to go to a therapist. You need to fucking calm down. It's all your fault. It's no one else's fault. Fuck you. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, oh, oh, oh that's terrible to say. Uh huh. Oh, well, at least you know about that. Oh, did they give you a letter? Oh, yeah, you're the guy that I think one of my people I met wanted to kill you. Uh huh. Yeah, when I was in the, like, the cave, the snake cave, someone was like, I will kill him. Maybe I'll take him out instead. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, why are we, why are you about to be killed and why are we trying to save you? Are you like propagandaing? That might be it. Oh, and also I should say I have my air conditioning on right now because I was like after all this rage of frustration, I need to treat myself so, to some cold air. So I was like, yeah, there we go. Oh man, he's not doing that at all. It's a good thing I'm hardly aware of what it is I'm doing right now. I guess I'm es escorting. Oh, gross. Are the accusations true? Oh, I see. So, people are paying you to make statues that are just a waste? Uh-huh. Uh. Uh-huh. Okay, so you don't believe in gods, and you're taking money, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Uh, who's Pericles to you? Is he your lover? I thought I was your lover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. Oh, that's... Oh, love of Athens. Sorry, I was... I was... I was skipping through words. That's cool. And then we push through each other. Oh, okay. Right, we need to go. Uh huh. Do you have any idea where I can take you? Uh, please just tell me it's the house next door. South of Athens. Oh There's my an God, an island? My friend. Oh my God, we have to go a long way, don't we? We're gonna be so far away from Athens. Anyone can help. I could kill you, honestly, taking you all the way out there. A little murder action going on. All right. You got it. Any, your necklace did some weird shit. Uh, is that your guard? Uh-huh. Thank God. Oh. Okay, cool. We were meeting somewhere else. I don't have to escort him anywhere. That's nice, but I do have to... Oh. Uh-huh. I guess so. The bad guy that's in charge of this town is using the guards to kind of, like, uh, keep an eye on this guy. So, Cleon, that's the bad guy's name, right? Why is he trying to, like, keep these people here? I don't know. And also, I'm not really doing much to distract them right now. I don't even know where fucking Phidias went. He just climb out a window? Alright, whatever. Well, I can just fucking do this, I guess. Yeah, fuck you guys. You can't catch me. I'm an assassin. You know, this would be a... Oh, God, I wish I could just kind of worm my way around this little hole. Let's see, where are they looking? Uh, I'm pretty sure if I just drop, they're gonna hear me, so... I don't know. Let's see. Hiya! Hiya! Ow. Okay. Howdy. <laughs> fucking losers. Oh, that's right. There's a bounty hunter after me. I forgot about that part. Oh, God. It's gonna take forever. The same friend that says my game looks like a sack of potatoes, basically, uh, was, like, saying the bodyguard stuff was, uh, something he really liked. I'm just like... I have terrible memories associated with... Why did I say bodyguards? I meant to say bounty hunter. I have so many bad memories associated with the bounty hunters, because it is just such a fucking waste of time in my eyes. I'm, like, trying to do shit. It's... Okay. I admit that, like, it's cool when you get, like, a random fight encounter. I think it'd be cooler if I was playing without the guided mode on, because then it'd be, like, all of a sudden this guy's here. I'm like, whoa, hey, random encounter here. When it's literally prevail like it's all the fucking time though i could be doing a main quest or a side quest it can get in the way which i still think like part of that is okay in in practice or what's the word in thought i don't know but not like outside of practice whatever the fuck you call that i know there's a term for it but i'm losing my mind here i think like the whole random element of it is neat but i get very frustrated when i'm trying to do a mission and then this very fucking boring fight happens that I have no control over. That I either have to run away from, which if I'm doing a main objective can be a little frustrating, or I just take all the time in the world to fight this bounty hunter. Like, really, the, the, it all boils down to, like, if the combat was a lot more entertaining, I'd be fine if, like, oh, shit, this random person's here to challenge me and I'm doing some other shit. Okay, you let, using my skill in the game, I can, like, fucking kill him real quick. Like, if they had combat like Sekiro, which I'm just gonna hype that game up for all eternity now, the combat was, like, uh, like that in here, I'd be all for that. Just like, oh, hey, shit, random enemy, let me fucking fight you. Like, if the combat was like Sekiro, but not, like, the fucking death and destruction. I shouldn't be walking through here, should I? Yeah. If I, if it wasn't as difficult as Sekiro, but as, as fun as Sekiro for this game, I'd be all for it. Like, in terms of a random encounter situation. Because I think Sekiro, just on its own, that's fine. Combat, and game, it's difficult, but I'm fine with it because, like, the game's set up in that way. If Sekiro had a random encounter of bounty hunters, like, in this game, 
that would be a little more frustrating. But yeah, it's just, it all boils down to like, I don't really uh, like the combat in this game too much. Sure, there's probably a huge point, like thing of I'm, I'm missing like a bunch of skills. I'm probably like supposed to be sinking a little bit more time into this than I ha uh, have been. Like maybe if I have more skills, it's more interesting. Maybe if I, you know what? Also on that line of thought, I should probably change out my weapon because I've been getting a little tired of the slow ass hammer. Uh, so what else do I have? I kind of wanted to try a spear, but I think that's still going to be, like, a little slow. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Got a level 10 spear, I think. Well, actually, this heavy... Th what the fuck kind of sword is this? Oh, it's a scythe. You know, that's a little interesting. It's still a two-handed weapon, so it might be slow. I don't know. I guess since I'm waiting for sundown, let's give it a shot. How's this weapon do? How do you even fight in this game? There we go. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, yeah, this is fast. I like that. So far, I'm feeling this. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Okay, we'll try this for a little bit. And then, I guess, uh, at night... God, how do I kill time in this game, I wonder? I've only got, like, four minutes left in the episode, and all I've been doing is complaining. I haven't fought a single person yet. I could go try to deal with Snake Boy again. That sounds like a great idea. Wow, what else can we do? Uh, oh, you know what? You know what? That thing I said I was hating. Bounty Hunters. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's go fuck this guy up. Night is still a ways off. Hello, sir! I wish to do comp Uios the Balanced. Okay, that's an odd name, but I won't judge you. Here, are you... Ow, oh, fuck. Oh, God, I have Sekiro dodging. Okay, how do I... Gay. Okay, X, X. There we go. Parry is... X. Okay, I remember the parry, too. Just like a little bit of that. Now I'll just kind of poke him. Yeah, it's... Ow, ow. I hit... X, I hit... Fuck it. Oh, God, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Between Monster Hunter and Sekiro, my controls are all over the place. Here we go. I like the range. You know, I think I found the fucking most viable <laughs> combat strategy. Oh, uh, Oh yeah, I'm I am undefeatable like this. Ow. Okay. Well, now you just open yourself up for more poking. Oh my god, I think spears are uh, my next thing. Spears are pretty fun. And going back into complaining about the combat here, it's a little too like bat like weighted in the favor of the player if you dodge the attacks. And it sucks that like they're so fucking tanky in a boring way. Like, they're just... I mean, right now, I'm actually burning through his health pretty fast, but... Like, it's the thing of... Playing this game on, like, a harder difficulty, I already know it's gonna be one of those games where the health... Like, the difficulty stems from the fact that, like, the fucking, um... Like, the players, uh... Uh, the enemies you fight, rather. Like, their health is just a fucking, like, sink of time. Ugh! Like, it's all they get is, like, extra health and extra defense, they probably do extra damage, too. I hate that in games where they're like, this is how we make it difficult. We give them, like, 18,000 more health. That's not very... That's not very fun. Like, if I, if I want a game to, like, be difficult, I want it to be fun, too, where I'm like, oh, yeah, this is good. Ah, but speaking of fun, I gotta say I like this spear. It's pretty simple. I, like, I don't know. It's probably... I, I like it because I got a lot of fun little pokes in there. Oh, we got a new mercenary, too? Shit. Well, that's great. Yeah, Spear's fun. Bounty Hunter's dead. Fighting still kind of sucks, but here we are now. It's like fucking two minutes to spare and night still hasn't fallen. I can't believe it. How is the sun not set yet, small child? You know what? I know what to do. I wonder if this game lets you shoot kids. Most games don't let you do that. Actually, aren't you Phoebe? Phoebe, is that you? You look like Phoebe. You sound a little bit like Phoebe, too. Hmm... Well, I feel bad because this kid's like super apologetic towards me. Oh, I think her parents are like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, they're all just, <laughs> oh no, they're coming at me. <laughs> they're coming at me with the stance. They're all like, they're about to start snapping their fingers. Okay, you know what, I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. Yeah, let's go. Well, that was a fun little <laughs> diversion. Now what do I do? I need another bounty hunter to come for me. Man, this is a great way to end an episode. I'm literally just kind of sitting around here, aren't I? Let's see. That was Yulios the Balance. Who else is coming for me? I'm on tier 8, Rhoda the Patricidal. I don't know about her. Let's leave her be. This guy is... What is wrong with this man? He's big, but he looks small, and his head... Maybe it's just the helmet, but it looks like his head is huge. Like, kind of like the outline you can see, like, within the helmet makes his head look like... That's a big ol' head. All right, little weirdo. All right, oh, whoops, sorry. Wrong fucking button here. Who do we got over here? Hermet the Marksman and Lysip the Messenger. Okay, good stuff. And then we have our cultist situation. Is everyone else glad I'm just, like, exploring menus to kill the last two minutes of time here while I wait for the sun to set? Because God knows I can't get a fucking quest done in time. All right, well... Ooh, boy. This is... 
This is the series I decided to bring back from the brink of death. That's wonderful. I guess on that note, I'm going to end it right here. So, yeah. Gator Snapper hit the 15-minute mark. Every Let's Player's dream. So, yeah. This has been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.